vision came together of what we wanted to do where we weren't going to compromise. We had to all sort of like take a big gulp and say, do we create something that doesn't exist today? The other challenge was to find a material that lets us build a unit that is thin, light and strong. We came across magnesium as a metal that with its density, lightness and strength was just a great starting point for us to do this. There was this bar that we set to ourselves. That was the thing that fueled us all. The countless hours that we spent pushing and pushing and pushing. It feels like we spent a week to move a pixel or an atom a couple of millimeters. We had to take the user experience of this and use technology to fit it into that. So how do you do that? That's what we have to figure out, and that's what we use our 30 years of hardware experience for. We were working on this prototype, we wrote some software, and then we started typing on top of it. And then we realized that this actually can work. I remember when we had our conversations with the engineering teams, no way that you can make a keyboard that thin. And it's really interesting that the final product is even one millimeter thinner. You start finding ways to make sure that you're making the best innovative engineering decisions to bring out the best product possible that people can buy. That's what we have with Surface.